Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. I want to be a veterinarian by Laura Driscoll, illustrated by Catalina Echeverri. Dad and I are waiting to see the veterinarian or animal doctor. We brought our dog, Gus. It is time for his checkup. Soon, Dr. Wells calls us into the exam room. She weighs Gus. Dr. Wells looks into his eyes, nose, and mouth. She listens to his heart. Gus is one healthy dog, Dr. Wells says. She's a great vet. She's so friendly and gentle. I wish I could be a vet, I tell her. I love animals. But I am allergic to cats. Dr. Wells smiles. You don't have to be a pet vet, she says. There are many other kinds. Could it be? I ask Gus on the way home. Could I be a vet? The next day, I am at my riding lesson. I see a man wrapping a horse's ankle. Are you a vet? I ask him. Yes, the man says. I am a large animal vet. His patients are horses, pigs, goats, and more. Hmm, I think I am not allergic to any of those. On a class trip, I see another type of vet. We are at the aquarium. There is a diver in one of the tanks. She is an aquatic vet, my teacher tells us. She is feeding the fish. Later, the vet is at the touch tank. She answers all our questions about ocean life. Over the summer, my family visits a national park. In the park is a wildlife rescue center. It's like a hospital for wild animals who are hurt or sick. The vets here are called wildlife veterinarians. They treat and care for the birds until they are well again. Then they release the birds back into the wild. This is the best part of my job, the vet says. In the fall, my scout troop visits a dairy farm. It is a large farm with many cows. We meet a dairy cow vet. I test them for disease, she says, and make sure they get good food. Healthy cows make lots of good milk. We get to taste some milk. Mmm, these cows must be very healthy. I learned so much about vets. I learned there are vets who work outside. Other vets work inside in a lab. They study animal health. Some vets work in schools. They teach others who will become vets. Some vets work in big, busy animal hospitals. And some vets have their own small offices. Like Dr. Wells. I see her again at Gus's next checkup. I tell her all I have learned. So, what kind of vet do you want to be? Dr. Wells asked me. I think it over. Then, the cat next to me makes me sneeze. I don't know. I say, I'm glad I have a lot of choices.
thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!